So we're up to Halloween 2 from 2009, possibly the most controversial and certainly one of the most interesting entries in the Halloween franchise. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. I'm Nick Push. We're doing 10 burning questions as I go through the entire Halloween franchise. We're all the way up to 2009. So let's do this. All right. Question number one. We're going to get right into this. Is this Brad Dorif's best performance ever? That is a fascinating question because Brad Dorif is amazing in this movie. You know, and one of the things that people that are fans of this movie uh, bring up a lot is his acting and his portrayal of Sheriff Brackett, uh, specifically the scene when, spoiler, uh, Annie Brackett, Daniel Harris' character, is killed. You know, you get this great, epic, uh, just downright horrific sounding performance from Brad Dorif in this scene. And I'm with you, he is outstanding. But when we're talking about Brad Dorif and some of his performances, I mean, my God, uh, you, you know, he's known as the voice of Chucky, right? Uh, and he's great as Chucky. He really is. Distinct voice, etc., etc., etc. But holy fuck, this guy has put up some amazing performances and just random stuff. I'm thinking about, like, The Exorcist 3. He's fucking incredible in that movie. Uh, there's an episode in Season 1 of X-Files called Beyond the Sea where he plays some incarcerated guy. Fucking amazing performance by Brad Dorif. So... If is Halloween 2 2009 his best performance? I don't think so. However, it's definitely, I think, on the Mount Rushmore of Brad Dorif performances. And there's probably a lot of other performances of his that I haven't even seen uh, that are just fantastic. So I don't know if I'd put this as the best, but it's certainly high up there on the list and certainly something that uh, even the staunchest uh, critics of this film will not argue with someone if they bring up Brad Dorris' performance. Question number two, why the white horse? So Michael starts having some visions of this white horse and his mother, and, and why? So, I mean, we know why, right? We know why. Somebody had to get somebody else in this movie somehow, even though they were dead. That's, that's it. But we can do it artsy, right? We can do it artsy. We can have this vision of this white horse. I can look up something on what it means, etc., etc., etc. So that's the why. Um, does it work for you? Doesn't work for me. I find it. Uh, I find it a little too artsy for a film that doesn't need to be. I mean, this is fucking a Halloween movie, uh, a Rob Zombie movie. Uh, I get it. I get the symbolism. I, I, I understand all that. It's not like that's going right over my head or anything like that. I just think it's unnecessary unless you're trying to get your wife in the movie. Question number three. Hobo Myers. Does it work? This is where you probably would expect me to say no. Doesn't work at all, right? It might work a little bit for me. Um, and I'm a critic of this movie. You know, there's probably 90% of people hate this movie, and then there's a 10% uh, uh, population of fans that really like this movie, and they, they will argue their points, and they make some fascinating points, and, y you know, good for them. If you're one of those 10% that like this movie, that's awesome. I am not. But Hobo Myers. Uh, so Myers is kind of wandering the earth, so to speak, uh, between Halloweens and looking all grungy. He's got either his mask off or half his mask is cut off. Uh, does that work? I kind of say yes. I kind of think it's a little pretty cool looking. Uh, you know, and I like the fact that the mask holds some special like meaning to him. Like he puts it on and then he's ready to kill. Um, you, you know, his grungy look. Um, the first time I saw it, I hated it. It's kind of grown on me a little bit. So I think I'm going to say it works for this movie. What do you think? Does it work for you? Question number four, speaking of Myers, is this the most terrifying Myers in the franchise? There is an argument to be made that the answer is yes. Now, for me, I'll always be more scared of someone that might be supernatural, might not be. Is it a man? Is he supernatural? You know, what's going on? He's there and then he's not there. He's gone. You know, that I find more terrifying. However, this is possibly the most brutal. I don't even think you can say possibly. Uh, this is the most brutal Myers we've ever seen. He's picking up cars. He's fucking just stabbing till there's no blood left. Uh, it's fucking crazy. So this is probably the one Myers uh, I would not want to, I mean, all of them, but this is the most uh, scary Myers to me as far as like if I'm walking through an alley, this is the one I don't want to run into. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Question number five. Why 
why, why did you make Loomis a money-hungry jerk? I get it. He's not going to be the same Loomis that we got in 78 or Halloween 2 or Halloween 4, whatever. I, I get that. It's a different version of the character. And in the early 2000s, you would have somebody, you, you know, it, it's realistic. Guy has a patient and then patient goes nuts and uh, it becomes national news and you can sell a book and all kinds of shit. I get all that. Couldn't he have done that without acting like an asshole the whole time? You know, he tried, they tried to redeem him at the end. It doesn't work. I, I don't buy the re little redemption at the end. I just, we need someone to follow in this movie. Now, Brad Dorr, if you could say Bracket, is that person, right? But we needed somebody likable. And it would have been nice if Loomis had either a turn quicker in the movie or, you know, he's, you, you could even still have him doing a, his, his media tour, right? But you could have him doing the media tour and warning people that, you know, you know, Myers is evil. He's, he's, he's still up. Whatever. Whatever. I, I, I just think making Loomis a money-hungry jerk was a mistake. Question six. How realistic is Laurie's trauma from this movie? Uh, the answer for me is pretty damn realistic. Now, um, you know, we've had multiple depictions of trauma in this franchise. You have Laurie from H2O, which I've talked about. You know, she's scared and an alcoholic. You have Laurie from the 2018, the DG, DG G trilogy. It's hard to say. Um, you know, where she becomes Sarah Connor. I don't like that. There's kind of a mix in between here. Uh, Laurie, first of all, is not likable in this movie at all. Which is fine. Which is fine, as long as we would have had other characters likable, right? And you can make the argument that Annie's likable, right? But her trauma, is it realistic? Uh, like I said, I, th I think, yes, I think her turning the way she did, especially in this Rob Zombie's world, right? This white trash bullshit world of Rob Zombie. Uh, uh, I think it's just a realistic portrayal. I think she's written very well, uh, which I don't say much about Rob Zombie movies. Written very well. I think her character is written very well. Um, and I feel like at her age, to go through what she went through, that's realistic. To rebel a little bit. Uh, to turn into a kind of like bitchy friend. I think that makes sense after what she went through at that age. And then finding out it was her fucking brother by, you know, an excerpt of a book. Holy fuck. So yeah, I think it's a good job. Uh, it's a different Lori, certainly. Uh, but I think it fits this movie. Question number seven. Should the hospital stuff from the beginning of the movie have been real, not been a dream. Oh, this hospital scene is great. Uh, but should it have been real? Probably. You know, you could have made it real. Uh, you know, a 20-minute dream sequence or whatever it is, I don't know if it's 20 minutes, uh, seems like a lot. And then you got to rush through other, other parts. Make it real. Make it real and then go on to the next night. Or the next Halloween, I mean. The next year. Um, you know, obviously, you know what they were doing here. I wanted to make you think it was going to be just like Halloween 2, uh, 1981, where it's set in the hospital, and this time you got this Myers in a hospital. Holy fuck. Uh, uh, there's some great scenes in this hospital. I, w I wish it was real. It's pretty, uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of good tension, a lot of good brutality. And it's shot really well, you know, which is not no surprise because Zombie always shoots stuff really well. Question number eight. Another negative one here. Michael talks. <laughs> Why? Why, Rob? Why? Die! Die! Come on, man! Like, fine, different Myers. I, 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 I get all that, you know. You can explain it to me however you want to explain it to me. And your points will be valid and probably right. But for me, I just don't like it. And that's just me, you know. Uh, not to be Mr. Purist here, but um, it's scarier when he doesn't talk. No matter which version of Myers we get, it's scarier when he doesn't talk. And it's like, dude, yeah, he just says die. Relax a little bit, right? I, I know. I know. It doesn't ruin the fucking movie for me. I mean, other shit does. Uh, but that, that, that in and of itself isn't the worst part of this movie for me. I just... It seems unnecessary. It just seems really unnecessary. If he's going to talk, have him talk earlier in the movie then. I don't know. I would have been complaining about that too, though, right? So it's like... Pick your poison here. I just, I'm just wondering why. Why that creative decision? Find it interesting. But, uh, yeah, uh, I don't like it. All right, question number nine. The last two questions are questions for you guys. Question number nine. Where do you rank this movie in the franchise? Uh, it's really fascinating, right? Because there, like, there's a, uh, 
uh, like I said, a, a subset of people that are big fans of this movie and then most people hate this movie. So for most people, myself included, it's in the bottom three. It's either last or, you know, last before Halloween ends or last before Halloween 5, whatever. That's probably where most rank, ranking people ranking have it. But, but, I know there's people that like this movie and I've seen it like in people's top fours. Tell me where it ranks for you. Is it middle of the pack? Is it top four? Do you like the fact that it's unique? Or are you like me, where it's just dead last? Um, question 10. Let's end on a positive note, because I've been doing a lot of bitching about this movie. Let's end on a positive note. And I want to know, what's the best part of this movie for you? The best part. Uh, whether it's the best scene, best character, whatever. For me, it is that hospital stuff at the beginning. I think that's really well done. I think there's a lot of tension. And uh, some of the stuff is just like cringe, cringy in like a good horror movie way, right? Um, and then, of course, Brad Dorif's performance, uh, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, I find him really good in this whole movie. Everyone just brings up that one scene. But Brad Dorif's really good in this whole movie. And I, I, I do like the fact, even though, you know, I was bitching about, you know, Loomis earlier. I do like that little switcheroo that Rod did there where, you know, we're following a lot of Brad Dorif here. And I, I find that interesting, you know, especially because he's a more uh, uh, likable version or, you know, a better portrayed version, more depth than uh, Charles Cyphers uh, had to work with, not for Cyphers, salt, Cyphers' fault, but he had more to work with than he had back in 78. So it makes sense to, uh, you know, follow Bracket a little more. Um, so anything with Bracket for me and then uh, that hospital stuff at the beginning. There's some stuff in the middle of this film that I just can't, I just can't stomach. Uh, some of the kills are just brutally, brutal, brutally brutal. I mean, that, that's a Rob Zombie term if I've ever heard one. Uh, but yeah, those are my 10 burning questions for Halloween 2, 2009. Join me next time as we're going to start tackling uh, Halloween 2018 and wrap this series up as we approach Halloween 2024. Thanks for watching, everyone.